Hey guys, so I've got exactly 23 hours and 49 minutes to complete my goal. Otherwise, I've agreed with my friend to work in a charity shop. Long story short, I seen a friend the other day that I haven't seen in a very long time. He was telling me about some of the goals that he wanted to accomplish. So I suggested, why don't we become accountability partners? If you've never heard of that term before, it's basically a phrase similar to a coach or someone that's gonna help drive motivation for you to do a project and complete them on time. The reason why an accountability partner someone that keeps you accountable is so effective as well is because when you've got someone that can be your accountability partner you have to state your goal a lot more specific than you would if you'd done it yourself and because of that that's going to help drive your force more efficiently because then the other person can objectively measure okay you're improving here and you're not improving there whereas if you lift left under your own device you would probably not really do that and you'd be super vague with your goal. Other than someone objectively measuring your progress and being able to support you in identifying where you can improve more effectively, another thing that accountability partners help with is people don't typically like to let people others down. We're emotional creatures, we respond, respond on emotions rather than logic and a lot of people don't like to let others down. So they'll do anything in their power to make the other person proud or feel good about them in most cases I would say depending on the context as well so when you make bets like this especially with friends or anyone like this it becomes a lot more difficult for you for emotionally let go and let the other person down so this is why it can help and also when you make a promise to someone it should be like there's a saying it's called the sword of Damocles I think I'm pronouncing it right but it's basically when you make a promise you need to be willing to sit under your own metaphorical sword swinging above your head that can fall at any second and if you're unwilling to sit under your own sword of your words of what you've said you will do then it shows that you're not serious about what you're going to do you're because if you're serious about something and you give yourself a consequence if i don't do this this will happen you're sitting under your sword your metaphorical sword this is a driving force it's good if you like this type of content press the like and subscribe button for more notifications on my next videos so my goal is basically i need to make three youtube videos in the next 23 hours and 26 minutes that would have given me a week exactly to create the video but i'm always i'm just on my last day and i've left it a bit long i will complete the goal because that is my goal and i'm going to do it because if not i'm going to work in a charity shop i do not want to do that wouldn't mind working in a charity shop it'll make another video which will be quite good but it's not exactly something i want to do but to help you basically you need to burn the bridges if you've never heard this term before as well or this is like a phrase or a saying there's basically a commander in like i think it was ancient greek can't be exact but it's basically a commander that when he touched down he realized that he was severely outnumbered and all the motivation from his troops were dying so basically he told everyone to burn the boats either we conquer or we die you can do this to yourself and keep yourself accountable by setting a consequential stake that says that if i do not complete this i will do this for that and uh, yeah, that's gonna help drive your force as well because uh, of something called loss aversion. The feeling of loss is three times stronger than the feeling of gain. So it's good to have a reward. Why not have a reward? But people typically respond more effectively to the feeling of loss. So put yourself in a position where if I don't get this what I want, then I'm really going to lose by losing some other stuff. And that is why I've got an ultimate goal of creating 60 YouTube videos in the next year before the, the New Year's of 2021. And if I don't make the 60 YouTube videos and have them either uploaded or sequenced to upload, then I said I'll pay a thousand pounds towards the charity of my friend's mum's choice. <sighs> so, yeah, accountability partners is the way to go. It is what you want. And... Uh, you can use anyone really but it's probably better idea someone that doesn't mind telling you the truth and giving you a hard time also someone that's going to push you a little bit further than you think you can do because as well if you're stuck 
to, towards your own device and making your own goals yourself. You could just sit within your own comfort zone and only push a little bit and then you don't really know exactly how far or fast you can go. So the accountability partner will give you another layer of someone saying, I seen that you've done all right with this task this week. So next week, I want you to try and double it or 10% more or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you want to be more effective with your goal setting, get an accountability partner, get someone else that wants something or that is striving for something and make deals with them as an accountability partner. It can be quite fun as well. So you can challenge yourself, you can challenge your friends to to ensure that you get things done. Accountability partners as well can go socially as well. So if I stated something online now, such as if I don't make 60 YouTube videos by this date, then I'll pay a thousand pounds. That gives me social accountability where there's larger groups of people that say you like when you're gonna do it or not. The effectiveness of this can change depending on the person because one-to-one -one accountability um, could have a more of a driving impact of not wanting to disappoint the other person rather than social accountability some people might not even care about what the social masses think some people might who knows as i say i'm going to post free in the next 24 hours which is quite irregular but after that i want to be posting weekly so we'll see how that goes and this is enough for me now take care everybody and speak soon